Yo! Hey, check out our Patreon in the link below. You'll have access to uncut and upcoming reactions, skits, behind the scenes footage, and so much more. Your support goes a long way to helping us with more reactions and original content. Also, thanks for subbing. Set, Set the, the bell, bell for, for notifications. notifications. Your boy Rock Lee. Hey guys, if you're not subscribed. Go ahead and do so. Attack on Titan starting now. now. What's going on everybody? It's your boy Rock Lee. I don't oh. And your girl Ursa. Jumping into an Attack on Titan reaction. Uh, quick recap. From the post-it board, because we saved it from the last episode. Adorkable, go. Okay, so I was just gonna say that Mikasa is a lot like Falco. It's Falco, right? Falco? Or Falcon? Falco? Falco, yeah. Falco, okay. And Aaron is a lot like Gabby, basically, pretty much. Their personalities, because Falco is very protective of um, Gabby, just like Mikasa is of Aaron, pretty yeah. much. And they both have very strong characteristics when it comes to Gabby and um, Aaron. Yeah, we're seeing the parallels of both sectors, areas, time periods, groups, opponents, however you want to label it. Um, also, my recap on the last, like, just just quick recap on the last episode in general, we have the, uh, the Warhammer Titans family. Mm -hmm. He, basically it's the Eldians with the War Titan that are in control of the Marlians mm -hmm. and suppressing the rest of the El Eldian group. That is pretty much our big revelation in the last episode. We also got Aaron slowly plotting, moving around, brought in, uh, basically worked his way to get Reiner brought to him at the end of the last episode. And we got some big reveal that's about to happen, which is supposed to bring, is it about, is it, was it world peace? What's this guy's objective? What's the purpose of this event? It's about to happen? end wars, basically. <laughs> Yeah, he has some sort of plan that yeah, he's supposed yeah. to, to end all and of the just, war and stuff and the death. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we had some spec. Also, Aaron and and what's his name met in the basement. Yep, Aaron and um Reiner. Reiner. Reiner, Reiner. So that's how Reiner and us that Aaron is there, and I think that was important in order for the other guy to deliver the message, whatever. It was. Oh yeah, cause we left off. Thank you, thank you. You we left off thinking that. Well, you, we, we left off with you guys thinking that Aaron would apparently be working with this guy yep. to do something. Uh -huh. I don't know. We'll have to find out. It's, it's reasonable, but I guess we're about to find out in this episode. Okay. Anyone else have anything to add? Yes, it's All right. Uh, we're going to jump into the reaction, guys. So if you're not subscribed, now is a good time to do so. Full reaction, full discussion will be on our Patreon. Also, Hit the bell for notifications. We do content and post over there today. <laughs> All right, let's jump into Attack on Titan starting now. Dang. As we are here. He's reading the situation well. The kid? Falco, right? Yes. And he's like, you guys are friends, right? <gasps> Declaration of War. That's what he's gonna do right there. That's what he they need right now down with Aaron. Look at him. It looks like they're covered in blood. Did you see the timer? Why temper? <laughs> he is sweating. <coughs> Wasn't the lady that saved that um, Elding kid? Yes. Because he accidentally That's spilled something on her. Yes. Oh, that's her? Yes. Yeah. 
He's letting him know you can't transform right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So he's waiting for the show to begin, so he was with him. He's letting him know the stakes. <gasps> he's saying he could transform it and he died. Lives are at stake. That's Reiner's mom, right? Uh-huh. Oh. Uh, I think she's alive, as far as we last know. Mm -hmm. I think it's showing like all the important people are here. Mm -hmm. I feel like we're supposed to recognize that person, but I didn't see enough of a face. No, but they've been someone while this is happening. This poor kid. I think Aaron is basically acknowledging that he understands Reiner now. Are they working together? For yes. Oh, there was blood. God. Yeah, see. The Great Titan War. Wait. The hair color. Is that Herman? That's the only one I recognize with blonde hair. You're feeling it, right? Oh my gosh. <laughs> it has to be. It's the build up. They're gonna trap them all. Yeah? That's Armin. Yeah. This is well planned. Mm -hmm. Ah, the kid is smart. Is this something that we don't don't know? Obviously. He said he's revealing. Oh, uh, they don't like this. So it wasn't even real. Mm -hmm. Wow. I wonder what his reason for doing this right now is. Until... 
にエルディアを生んだタイバーゲとはありもしない名誉を収まる卑しい言葉に過ぎない私がこの場をもって偽りの名誉と決別したのはこの世界が置かれている危険な状況を理解したからです呼びに向かった兵士ともども姿を消しました呼びたいを動員し捜索しろ了解始まったか He knows. Oh, oh, I remember where she would have seen him. Oh, this man is literally telling us mm -hmm. the story for the episode. Oh. Those are the walls. Spear and shield. Oh. What? So they're not working. He stole yet. it. <laughs> Yo, he's here. <laughs> the way he said it, yeah, they never got to my family. Hey, he's already there. Mm. But they're the ones that cause us by attacking them in the first place. Exactly. Why did they keep attacking them? He just, they, they didn't keep their promise. Don't I won't fall for Tibber's uh, twist on the information. This is the truth. No, not save the world. They think that. Just like Reiner. But you were taught. Yeah. Yeah. Aaron actually. Oh, Aaron is so understanding. He's had time. Because he's trying to be a hero. How would he extend his hand? It's gonna protect him. Everybody. Yes, I don't even know if I should be rooting for him right now, but it's time. He's a good guy. Wait, who's he being? Eat it. Tiger. 
That's it? Was that uh, Tibber? Tiber. That's what Aaron just picked up? Yeah, yeah and just threw it in the mouth. Wait, you don't understand who's the good guy? Aaron and his team is the good guy. They're I not clear. No, I think they're victims of each other's doing from the past. Because what the king from the Marleyans, right? Yeah. What's trying to do is to keep peace. Oh, that's the king of the Eldians. The Eldians. And to do that, he created a wall. Mm -hmm. of, of titans, of colossal titans. titans. But then, the Marleans with the Thiver, whatever they, they did. Well, the King The Prince. King and the Thiver family. Yes. Decided to make the Marleans a hero, some sort of hero. Yeah, Helio or something like that. Mm -hmm. So the reason why I said back to like Aaron, right? Mm -hmm. Like when I said, uh, uh, um, I don't know who the good guys, the bad guys are necessarily because like t King, this Tiber guy, the the, thing is the he's not a good guy. I don't think he's a good guy. But right now I don't label Reiner as a bad guy. Mm -mm. Uh, even though he's going to be Aaron's opposition, I don't label him as a bad guy. Even though he said- No, but that's what Aaron said. You know, they t told this kids that are here that they're, they're demons, they're monsters on uh, He was Paradise told that ever Island. since he was a kid. Ever since he was a kid. So they don't have any fault. They're just being brainwashed for whatever the Marlene's beliefs are. That's what I was saying. The mass majority of the people are all victims from what the people, from the, what the generations before has have done. That's more or less what I was saying. But the thing is, like at first I was going with what uh, Tibber was saying until I was like, but wait a second, wait a second. The Eldians on Paradise Island would have would have, were, would have been fine if you guys didn't preemptively break down the walls to get the Founding Titan, so you can continue fighting the rest of the world. He's not yeah. telling. He think he's saying he's telling the truth. But he's not actually telling the truth. So for a he's while, I was story. like, oh, okay. he's telling the truth. He's telling the truth. But after a while, I'm thinking, I'm like, no. no. They decided to go and get the they Founding Titan power. Like, they could have just left him over there. That would have been fun. Who? Them, they wanted the, the Marleans? Marleans. Yeah, the Marleans. They could have just left them alone. Yeah, they caused that whole issue with the war, and, stuff. and that's, that's why we are now. Yes. Well, what was happening though? The reason why the Marleans did that in the first place is because the world was catching up. They were losing them for a while. They were losing their military advantage, mm -hmm. so they foresaw that what will secure us is if we get the founding titan back. And they broke the promise with the king. Well, yes. Well, yes. So but everything that's happening now, I blame on them. That's on their own fault. Right. I'm on, I'm on the Eldian side. That's not. No, I get it. I get it. But I'm just, all I'm saying is, it's not like I'm for the Marleans. I'm I'm for Aaron's people. I'm just playing devil's advocate that they made a military decision because they saw their end was coming as the world was catching up. That's why they started off in this season mm -hmm. showing how when they were fighting, like they they, they really struggled. Uh, Zeke, Zeke in the Beast Titan form almost died from the uh, ships firing if Reiner didn't get, get in front of him in his uh, armor Titan form. And they were struggling against a train that now has armor piercing like rounds, Titan piercing rounds. So like that's that was, so the way season four started was to let, was to remind you guys, hey guys. Although this, you have the armor tie and we can still yeah, this take is, it out. Yeah, and this is why we were invading Paradise Island in the first place. But, but, but why are they why are they fighting other people? Cause like they, they went to their land, to those people's land. So I'm thinking that like, even though they're fighting other people, I don't think they have to. I think they went out of their way to go fight other people to claim more land. That is the piece that they don't fully explain. So yes, they are attacking other people. The only reason I can, give them any reason for why they fight other people is you fight other people so that they're never strong enough to come back and fight you. Mm -hmm. I think they're being greedy. I don't Probably know. are. And they treat them bad like all the time, like with the Eldians. The only action that made sense for the Marleans that I would defend is, yes, it made sense that you guys went to get the Founding Titan, but overall, you guys are having military conquests around the world that may not be necessary. You guys are still suppressing the Eldians, treating them like crap. You have a, a Eldian royal family who is supporting that. So yeah, their whole s structure. Uh, it's probably a brainwash. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but we had our fair share on Paradise Island. 
you know, with how the royals are treating the rest of the population. Mm -hmm. Even sent our they Armin's family out to go die mm -hmm. once they were sh short on resources. So again, we're getting a lot of more of the, the average person is more or less the same. It's the decisions of the few powerful individuals. That are Yes, and the rest of society has to more or less suffer, which is a common theme of life. But for the food shortage, I feel like that wouldn't have happened if they hadn't broke through the wall and like made that whole thing. Because they were all doing fine until they broke through the wall. That's and true. then they all had to go into one area. So then it made sense there was a food shortage and they're only really, the only real thing they could do is like send them out to war, but it's really sending them to die. Better than actually like killing them. Yeah, that, that, that was more or less that we have to do this decision. But you still saw a lot of, selfishness oh yeah there was you know not as bad as Marlene. yeah i would agree all their actions of all the... everyone else doing bad actions on their part so, but so. always remember this though that and he just said it in this speech mm -hmm. the marlians were at one point the oppressed mm -hmm. the eldians used to do that to them and then the king king fritz more or less this between, side is like let's we're gonna we're first. we're gonna pay for our sins and you know give you guys this land I, I guess all the Eldians should have just went I don't know why some Eldians stay but the Eldians used to treat the Marlians mm -hmm. more or less bad and now the script is just flipped mm -hmm. so like you got Aaron's people this generation is more or less they're a good generation but their people were the oppressors at one point remember he that yeah 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 that's how he began the story that part I'm gonna assume is the truth that the Eldians were just out there with their titans just bodying everybody and then they switch. So the Eldians historically are also have been bad people. Right now, it just happens to be the Marlians in power. So now the Marlians are the bad people. Whoever's in control is the bad people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what the history is showing. Anyone else have a day? No, no. Sounds about right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad though. I'm glad we got it. Cause that's how we, we always remember the details and not miss out on important things. So anyways. Thanks for riding with us guys on our Attack and Titan reaction. If you guys aren't subscribed, now's a good time to do so. Full reaction, full discussion will be on our Patreon. Also, hit the bell for notifications. We do post content on your daily. I'm your boy, Rock Lee. Your girl, Ursa. And our couple nerd. Oh. <laughs> wait, 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 I'm gonna laugh. Okay. If you haven't already, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell for notifications, and check out our Patreon for full and upcoming reactions.